Welcome back to another tutorial by Cinegrading. In this video, we'll show you how to install and apply our film emulation plugin for Photoshop so you can give your photos a classic vintage film look. First, open your browser and find the zip file you downloaded from us. Unpack the zip, open the folder, then double click the film emulation plugin CCX file. The Creative Cloud interface will open. Click install. Adobe will confirm that you want to install a third party plugin, so click OK. Click Open Photoshop. If Creative Cloud or Photoshop don't open automatically, just open them up manually and continue the installation process. For any other problems, please consult our PDF installation guide included with the download. Now choose a photo you want to add film emulation effects to. If the plugin menu isn't open, just click the little binocular icon here to open it up. Click on the film emulation plugin and the control panel will open. The plugin has three main features, grain effect, halation effect, and adjustments. Let's look at grain first. Make sure the layer you want to affect is active. In the plugin control panel, choose between fine, normal, and plus. Choose monochromatic if you're using a black and white image. Set grain strength, size, opacity, and softness to achieve the specific look you want. Notice a new grain layer is created above your image layer. This makes it easy to delete the effect if you don't like it. Next we'll apply halation glow. It's important here to make sure the image layer is active. If you just applied grain, the grain layer will be active. So if you apply halation now, it'll affect the grain layer, not the image layer, which we don't want. Now, choose one of the color presets and click Apply. A threshold adjustment will pop up, which you can use to determine how much of the image is affected. Just make a best guess and click OK. We can adjust it later using the Change Range button here. With the halation layer active, we can go back and make fine adjustments using the color and opacity sliders. When everything is set the way we want, we can move on to final adjustments. Again, make sure the image layer is selected. Each adjustment will create a new layer and will affect the layers beneath it, so keep that in mind. But if you make adjustments in the wrong order, you can easily move them around in the Layers panel. As always, we recommend experimenting with different effect combinations to achieve the exact look and feel you're going for. And that's how our film emulation plugin works. If you'd like to learn more about our plugins, or if you're looking for LUTs and other products and content for photographers, cinematographers, and filmmakers, check out Cinegrading.com. Finally, export the image and you're done. Here's the final result.